वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल टेक द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक व्हिच इज मेथड्स ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन एजेंट्स ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन और द एजेंसी ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन और वेक्टर्स ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन सो इट क्वेश्चन मे बी कम इन थ्री टाइप्स आइदर दे विल आस्क द मेथड्स ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन और सेकंड एजेंट्स ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन एंड थर्ड वेक्टर्स ऑफ क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन सो वी कैन क्लासिफाई द मेथड्स द एजेंट्स in two way first is the abiotic agents and biotic agents abiotic agents means all non living they involved in the abiotic agents and biotic agents are living involved in the pollination so cross pollination essential vector so abiotic like air and water involved in the pollination of pollen grain that time when the air involved in the cross pollination or air transfer the pollen grain from mature anther to stigma that time it is called anemophily the term is called anemophily means the pollen grain travel from mature anther to stigma by the air the term is called anemophily and the example in grasses sugarcane and coconut palm are the some example of anemophily in which the high pressure air release the pollen grain from the mature anther and travel to the stigma or land to the stigma so that time it is called anemophily second is water which is by a biotic agents so that time the term is called hydrophily so you can define the hydrophily means the process by which pollen grain travel from mature anther to stigma with the help of water that time it is called hydrophily hydrophily means with the help of water it can be classified in two ways on the basis of either they are present above the surface or they are present in the surface that time it is called hypo hydrophily or epi hydrophily hypo hydrophily means when the pollen grain are present inside the water and then move with the help of water current that time it is called hypo hydrophily the example of example is nazas or joster are the example of hypo hydrophily in which this pollen grain are present inside the water second is ep hydrophily or above the surface of hydrophily when the pollen grain are present just above the surface of water and then move with the upper surface or water current and travel to the stigma that time it is called ep hydrophily example is a valisneria so it is two type of hydrophily clear next is biotic means the process by which living organism transport the pollen grain from mature anther to the stigma condition is called biotic it can be further divided on the basis of type of organism or animal first is called entomophily ornithophily and chiropterophily entomophily means if pollen grain travel with the help of some insects like moth butterfly and other insects that time it is called entomophily clear when the birds stand on the flower nectar that time they receive the pollen grain or the pollen grain is stick with the wings of the moth butterfly and then when they move to the other flower or other plant they release all the pollen grain on the stigma so that time it is called entomophily that means the pollination with the help of insect example mustard sunflower are the example of the entomophily so entomo word refer to insect next is ornithophily ornithophily word refer to the birds that means when the pollen grain travel from mature anther to the stigma with the help of birds that time it is called ornithophily example are the tobacco bignonia and the cotton plant next third is chiroptophily means when pollen grain travel with the help of bat that time term is called chiroptophily and then in chiroptophily some example are adsonia and then kaigelia are the some example of the chiroptophily so these are the ray diagram which is related to the methods of cross pollination so you can easily attend the three mark question with the help of these ray diagram 
So you can take a screenshot of the Ray diagram in which methods of cross pollination or agents of cross pollination or vectors of cross pollination, abiotic and then biotic with example. And further you can write the definition in subjective purpose. So you can take a screenshot. 